Happy New Year, you guys. So, looks like this is a pretty excited library card board on the Corvette Stingray. Because, looks like for this custom race on GT Sports, because looks like it's time to get ready to go for the Stingray Sport Coupo with a C06 LM race car library design. So, looks like this is going to be quite super awesome for this variant. So, looks like everything is all set up because this will be able to have a max power of 637 and also well it might be able to have something to level up with the rate production level so this will be able to make a fine replica performance for it so it will have to take a lot of performance will be able to get set up so maybe the suspension could also to stay at default until anyone wants to make a, a, a fine replica to be able to make some good settings for it so it also, this may be able to have an under work in progress, so just want to make sure that this Corvette Stingray might be able to have a good capable race car for it because good thing it also becomes an N600 car when it's fully upgraded for it. So let's just go and get ready to try it out for a custom race. So before that, maybe this will be able to take a good look at this library design what's been made by the player. And looks like the library design is created by C Hippic 93 for making a flying excellent job for making this good exact replica library on it. So I kind of guess that this is a pretty good rim style for it. Perfect choice for the Corvette C06 LM race car C2 model. So this is definitely quite giving an excellent good choice for it. Now looks like this is going to be able to good to go. Now. Maybe this will be able to race out with the group 4 cars for the first set. So I just want to make sure that this will be able to have a racing experiment to get everything ready up and go. Because this is definitely quite very good color on it. Because the gray is perfectly matched and some fine replica library decals on it. Because this is definitely pretty good. And also the windshield as well because that will be able to have an import. So looks like from premium to be from standard to premium because looks like this is might be very good as a variant because this will be able to get everything loaded up and set up for a, one challenging moment to be able to get ready. Okay so looks like I might be able to go with some big earnings we'll be able to get it in for it. So looks like the Corvette C06 race car versus the group 4 cars for this challenge because this is going to get stronger and tougher to be able to be prepared for this muscle car. Good thing they just really want that library so much because that could be quite perfectly well for a racing competition. And also to be able to race with the historic cars as well. That was definitely quite perfectly matched for it. Now looks like first up in the race is the big Willow on Willow Springs International Raceway. So here we go and let's give it for a race for a 10 minute drive. Now looks like this is definitely quite very good strong performance. With an added of transmission gear we'll be able to go by 5 speed. So this will be able to go for a little different performances like the Corvette C2 C06 race car. Now this will be able to give it in for a try but it also might need to have a requirement to be able to put some suspension. Well, this is going to have to take a lot of hard work for us. So the handling might be able to be very, very cautious because this is going to get a little bit of a rough ride for us. So maybe this is going to be able to have a weak spot for us. So yeah, try not to get a little bit spin out because that could get a little bit of crazy rough ride for us. Because it also might need to have the full peak TTS control to be on 3 so whenever you're feeling comfortable with because that might be getting a little bit hard challenge to be able to go for it. so well I know that this is going to be a tough race for the C2 Corvette dressed as the C06 race car so let's just kind of give this American muscle car to go and give it a little bit more hard advantage we'll be able to kick it up a notch for it now, looks like this is going to get a little bit much efficient to stick around for the handling for it. So, for this part, this will be able to have this for a little rough ride. To try not to go a little bit more drift because this may be able to have some hard work. 
do some progress to be able to go for it. Now, looks like this is going to be able to keep it up, so wait until the fifth gear shows up and then this will be able to press on and then goes on the perfect mid turns on it. Okay, so it looks like it's back on to the group. Now, looks like this is going to be getting a little bit more challenging to be prepared. Past 19 group 4 cars without hitting anything might be able to get a little bit much closer. Plus, also the hard turns might be getting a little bit of rough bumping around here. So this is going to be able to avoid spin out, and this will be able to do as much possible as I can do. So this is going to be able to do some much handling efficient to be able to go at it. Maybe this will be able to give this for a little help when using the push cam viewports. Okay, so looks like a few other group 4 cars are going at it and it looks like getting a little bit separate for it. So this will be for the first overtake pass on the Dodge Piper Group 4 followed by the Lexus RCF. And then there might be some other group 4 cars are definitely going at it. Because maybe this is going to be able to be very, very careful for it because driven hard for a one classic race car to go and beat the group 4 cars takes a little bit much more advantage to be reached up in first place because it's all or nothing. Now, looks like this is going to be able to go one old-fashioned American racing for this muscle car because giving a little bit a lot of horsepower will pressurize the maximum sufficient for the handling performance. Because it looks like this is going to be able to get a little bit more hard patiently for it, so you have to find the exact riddle if you really want to make yourself feeling calm and comfortable to be able to get a little bit more efficient handling skill for it. So this will also might need to have a little bit of patient time to slow down whenever you're going to get a chance to beat all the group 4 cars to go at it. But this will be able to have a little bit more practicing experiment to be able to race in in the lobby event where well maybe group regulation category class might be able to go for it but this will be able to have it in for because this will be able to pat myself for a driving experimental racing test to see how the Corvette Sting race goes out for it because the thing that the CO6 LM race car variant might be quite even in one perfect exact well fit for it, but this is the kind of has to do some a little bit more control handling for it. It feels like getting a little bit of riding like a bull for it. Now, looks like coming in on the fourth lap, because this is going to get everything a little bit warmed up for it, because this is going to have to take a little bit efficient to be able to go taming it, like controlling on riding the same course. So this will be able to go everything goes out for it because this might be able to get a little handling efficient control will be able to make the great capable to move for it. Maybe the apex will help you if you really want to do it because that will get something else for it. Now it looks like going in for it because 5 minutes time it's going to be able to come closer. Because that C2 Corvette is going to have some, a little bit more speed to be able to catch up and make a little bit of attempted overtake. Because this might be able to go a little bit more passes for it. Because the group 4 cars really want to take a little bit of hard challenge with, it, with a historic race car. Kind of say because this is definitely going old school for a classic race car to go and give this modern race car a chance for it. Now, it looks like this is going to be able to coming in because 10 cars left for group 4 students might be able to go in for it. Now, it looks like this is going to be able to have the 5th lap might be able to go for one better chance of an advantage to take on for it. So this will be getting a little bit useful for it. But how about giving a little bit more slow time without giving a little rough around for it. Let's just gonna kind of give a little straight. So this will have to make that Corvette calm down for a little bit. Now 
Now, this is definitely quite giving the common effect for it. So, it also depends whenever you're trying not to get the acceleration in your plane, having a slow turn for it. That will provide any more seconds to be able to get in for it. Just do a little bit more pace and then have some calm turns. We'll be able to have it in for it. We'll be using the Corvette C2. We'll be able to get in for it. Because good thing that this is going to be able to have one challenging run as an N600 car. But definitely, good thing that the Corvette C2 is an N400 car. So it also provides you a little speed upgrade to make it into N600. Now, looks like this is going to be able to coming in. Just give it one extra straight overtake by two. And then have that turn to go in. Wow, it's like I kind of think that this old dog really wants to have its new trick because that's, that's how the classic might be has to do some new skills for the morning day in the present. Now, looks like only have to do five more left because looks like this race is about to be very over soon, ladies and gents, because the classic muscle car race car is going to be able to go in and have a one successful workplace for a group four training round for it. Now this is going to give it a little bit more chances to keep it in for it, so have the calm turn, might be able to get the perfect effect, then go straight to it because this is a strong aggressive. Combinations on turns will be able to have the passive, and the straight will always have to go aggressive for this C2 Corvette. Stingray as a race car variant because this will be able to get it in because this will give the old fashioned American racing style will be able to go for it. Okay, going in. Then let's push that puppy up onto the straight. That was definitely the first moment. Okay, so it looks like still going on for it, and it looks like it's only down for the minute left, folks. Because I hope that D2 Corvette is going to have to take a lot of chance, because four blue four cars left standing there on the run. Because they just really don't want to get overtaken by a production skin cardboard. But this is going to be able to have a little bit of hard tip for it. Try not to do a little bit of drift or power slide, because that could immediately be able to have a spin out in the back for it. So this will be able to have this for a little technique if you're really good enough to have the Corvette C2 Stingray. will be able to race it in against the group 4 cars, which if you always have enough strong horsepower will be able to kick it in for it. So have the suspension settings if you want because that will help you make a better improvement for the C2 Stingray. Because it looks like this is going to be able to go and give it a little bit more pushing up the straight. Just going to have to get a little bit much better closer for that core bed. And this is going to be able to reach it in for the final lap. Okay, pretty good. Looks like this is going to be able to have this on turn. And luckily, it also might need to have more work to do. Well, same thing like the Chevy Corvette C2 CL6 LM race car. But this is definitely quite giving the same performance and also the different specs for it. So good thing it also uses as a split window on the rear because that might be quite getting an extraordinary surprising for a good taste for it. Now, looks like the earnings summary is definitely coming in by results. So this will be quite very good to get everything collected so looks like the daily workout is going to be almost complete so well yeah I just definitely do one part so this will be able to have a little test to see how good is the C2 Corvette race out with the group 4 cars for it now let's just kind of go over to do the straight track and then this is going to be able to get it in for it so how about let's just race on to Blue Moon Bay Speedway to go on for the next day for it well, maybe let's just kind of race on the sunset because this is going to be able to have the perfect time for New Year's Eve and this is going to be able to go for it because this is going to be 
quite the celebration to be able to get started for it. So I kind of think that 2018 is about to be in and now looks like we'll be able to be moving on in 2019 because looks like this is going to be able to have a nice relaxing year for us because this is going to be quite giving a fresh start. So looks like it's time to go on the Blue Moon Bay so here we go and this is going to be able to do a grid start to be able to go on usually. Now it's just going to give a little bit more pace of acceleration going on so this will be able to have some fine efficient performance to maximize up to gain some more mileage for it. Boogity boogity go let's go racing. Now, looks like this is going to be able to have the perfect time for it because it looks like several of the two four cars are going at it for it. Now, let's see this is going to be able to get a little bit of extreme max performance to be able to go almost 200 miles. This is going to be able to have an ordinary NASCAR race for it. Okay, so this is going to be able to get a little bit extra careful for it. Good. So this will give a little bit extreme maximized for it. Now look at that Corvette go. Drives on the long straight and then this is going to get some extra horsepower. We'll be able to kick it in for it. Now looks like this is going to be able to do a lot more efficient runs for it because this will be able to climb up to 200 miles without hitting anything. This might be able to have a one side challenge for this C2 Corvette. So let's see how to give it a go for it. Okay, very good. Just gonna have to save up some mileage and then this will might need to have to do a less braking. Okay, so it looks like going back on the straight again and then goes for a new lap because this might be able to have some good efficient runs to go at it. Well, maybe it's changed my mind because that might be able to have an exact mileage mile goal for the C2 Corvette. So this will be able to make it in on 175 miles. That might be having a better goal because reaching up to 200 is definitely getting a little bit big challenging. So let's just kind of get something very usual and give it a better shot for it. So definitely 175 miles or more, that might be getting a little bit strong top speed performance. Might be able to get something for big efficient improvement to be able to get in for it. And also, it also might need to have some fine controls that might be able to keep an eye on whenever it's going to be able to rub or it may be able to get tipped off just like the Volkswagen Stemma bus. So this is going to be able to have one big tough challenge for it. Just try to keep it in well stable balance because that might be able to get everything well controlled for the balance of the car for it. Now just going to keep a little bit slided in and going in on the last turn. Good, stay on it, try not to do a little bit drift around for it because that might be able to have a little rough turn. Okay, here's our good old friend Lamborghini Huracan, who for blue color is definitely turning in second place. Because this is going to be able to have a little bit of extra car might be able to come in for it when it's definitely in the lead. Okay, keep it up that pressure for that speed. Just kind of give this for 175 miles to be able to charge it up. Very good. Good thing I saw 175 miles on the Corvette because that might be able to give a one strong muscle car to be able to race hard and straight win. And also, because that will be able to get a little bit of totally well controlled to be able to have the suspension for it. 
takes continuing on for the next lap and then this is going to be equal to have a 50 second run time for it because five minutes time is about to get currently going on for it. Now it looks like this is definitely quite going well as I definitely planned for it. Well, maybe actually that having any kinds of race car type would be able to go and put it in as lively variant. The thing that center end car production is definitely quite giving them one perfect makeover for it. So looks like definitely going in out from the standard view and making it into a fully premiumized interior view would be able to get something quite very good and realistic for it. So looks like we just always love having nice premium car sports, so well, we just always love standard car GT5 because this is definitely quite a very simple type vehicle sports because we just always remember all the cars from every country's game. Because looks like this is gonna be quite very good for the G2 Corvette, because looks like hidden headlights are definitely quite giving one big common surprise. For it because this will be able to get it in for it. Okay, so it's like five minute time is definitely going on for it. So this will be able to have four minutes left before this race is about to be over. Because good thing I just choose the track to be able to have this for an old fashioned NASCAR race. Because this is going to be able to go straight it in to do outside and inside to be able to go right on for it to have some fine speed for it. Prepare to keep up the good work because this is going to be easy to have some reach to be a prop. Well, looks like Hiracon is definitely getting the good at this. So trying to do a little bit more draft to catch up to my lead. Pretty good for a supercar turn GT4 race car would be able to get it in for it because this might be able to have a one fine student who be able to teach the old school race car to be able to drive fast for it because this is definitely just giving a legend and also to teach the rookie to be able to do a little bit effort to drive fast will be able to have this to be able to master any kinds of specific corners that will be able to get some experience to do of learning of racing. Now, looks like this is going to be able to have a current record goal for it because it looks like one of the fast lap runners is definitely beat the 50 second time. So, it looks like this is going to be quite pretty impressive. A student becomes a teacher. That's how the four race cars can also have to drive hard for this sport that might be able to get it in for it. Now it looks like approaching in to be able to go on to the 10th lap. Then this will be able to go in and take on that 150 second goal time, folks. Because this is going to get really rough and very challenging. So here I go and let's give it all I got to do it. Down for a minute and 50 second lap. This looks like this is going to be able to get a little bit more ultimate muscle for to be able to drive fast. Excellent. Just going to keep on the outside turns and make sure to try not to do a little bit of spin out on the third turn when you're on Blue Moon Bay. <laughs> looks like the fast lap just definitely just plain. Oh, looks like he just definitely beat my fastest lap. That was pretty challenging for it. That was definitely quite giving a good A plus for it. Now, definitely one of the fast opponents might be able to want to make a good chances for it. Now, here I go. So, looks like this is going to be a one minute lap because this race is about to be over soon, ladies and gents. Because this is going to be quite possible for 19 24 cars versus the classic race car might be able to get it in for it. But that will get some much freer than to be easier at the said speed for it. 
Now, here we go. So let's just go and beat the 150 second time lap for it. Because this is going to get a little bit more hard work to get everything done for us to find out. Keep pushing out that puppy because that will also might need to have 12 to be able to gain some aerodynamics to be able to get it in for it. Just only have to do one lane and then this will be used on the outside turn. Final lap, let's go and proceed to the checker flag. Now, looks like this is going to be a 10 second catch up to do. Hope this is going to be equal to do a lot of best effort than Jin, looks like. Okay, looks like this is a pretty good run for it. And so close, and that was a pretty awesome fast run for it. Whew, can't believe it, that was a pretty hard run to be able to catch up to beat the fastest lap. So, looks like the daily workout is already finished, but good thing that the Corvette C2 has finally done it. Now, looks like this is going to be a good 10 minute time for it, so looks like first have to check the lap chart for it. Okay, so looks like this is going to be able to have this currently on on top of it, and looks like, wow, can't believe it, the C2 Corvette just definitely did pretty well for passing a lot of Group 4 cars for it. Good thing that the gray color is definitely marked on the first place position, because that was pretty super fast for that muscle car. Pretty awesome like the classic replica for it. So, looks like this is definitely a pretty good job for having a one Corvette-tastic muscle car race with all the group board cars in. Now, let's see which car should I get from the daily workout because this is definitely is the end of the year in 2018 and it looks like the Toyota FT1 Vision GT Group 3. So this is definitely the last car for this year's today so this is definitely quite good to be able to be looking forward in 2019 good thing that this is going to be able to have everything going on for this time well i kind of guess that this is going to be the last part of this video for in 2018 and it looks like 2019 is moving on to the next part because Looks like this is going to be the fresh start to be able to have all kinds of cool stuff might be able to going in for it. So, the Corvette Stingray Coupe is definitely giving the good exact variant type as the CO6 race car in the 1960s. So, good thing that the great color and the car number 614 is the excellent one for it because good thing that this is definitely a one fine thumbs up perfect for a good replica design on it so looks like this is definitely quite very good to have all the good fun that I just definitely enjoy for it well maybe you guys enjoyed the best part in racing for it because this is definitely quite very awesome to have all kinds of cool stuff might be able to come in for it so 2019 is coming up until tomorrow folks because this is going to be a good time for New Year's Eve well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race and I hope you like this library. Thanks for watching. So before at the end of the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube and also the links on the description below if you really want to see more. Well, hope things are about to be looking forward in 2019. So thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you guys next time on Gran Turismo Sport for having another custom race. Keep on racing, stay cool and Happy New Year!